Facing Sonny Gray off the injured list. Had a hamstring cramp in his second start of the year. Happy to be back on that mound. Did make a rehab start through 40-something pitches. Finished off in the bullpen. Be interested to see how deep he goes in this game. Well, he's going to have a four-pitch mix with two different versions of that fastball. He mixed the four-seam and the sinker. Chopped toward first to the pitcher covering from Kirillov. So here's Chad Pinder, who's in the DH spot. Payoff pitch, runner holds, swung on and missed. Got it by him. Power fastball with some sinking action. And down goes Pinder for out number two. And Seth, eight for his last 58 at the plate. Buxton's back. And Buxton is kind of casually on a foot in front of the warning track. Trillian back on the mound, making his second start of the season. First start was a little bumpy, command a little erratic. I think maybe to be expected first time out, just again, much like Sonny Gray, trying to knock the rust off, knock the dust off a little bit. Bucks did a home run last night, his ninth of the year, tying him for the major league lead. And he chased it, the ball rolling away. And save it first. Buxton reaches on a strikeout. It is a wild pitch. The leadoff man aboard for the Twins. Scoreless in the bottom of the first. And now Max Kepler. Buxton runs and the pitch is outside. He walked him. So a strikeout, wild pitch, and then a walk. Let's see what they do with that as Pache stands in. On the outside edge. Stuck a fastball on the outside corner to get a much needed strikeout. Got the call and the strikeout. Now here's Kemp. Got him over the inside corner. I tell you what, for a guy who hasn't been on a big league mound in a while, he's been able to spot that fastball pretty well. If not on the edge, it's close enough to get some calls. Yeah, that was that front hip one you talked about earlier. That one that starts in off the plate. Noisy stands there on the right side. He's singled in the first. Long set from Gray. Two outs, runner at second base, scoreless baseball. Here's the pitch. And it's taken for a called strike three. How about that? Three Oakland Athletics watch strike three here in the third inning. Fifth strikeout for Sonny Gray. Count to Bethancourt. And the pitch. Swinging a bouncing ball to third. Charging is Miranda. He's got it. Sets his feet. Throws to first in time to get Christian Bethancourt. And the inning is over. The A's get a leadoff walk. His first game back it was four innings. Gave up just one hit. That one hit came in the first inning. And that'll bring Jorge Polanco to the plate. And a pitch lifted down the third base side. Long run. It's going to be Caprillion, the pitcher. Who can't come up with it. With the shift on, Smith was playing where a shortstop used to play. Pretty good bet that this will be his last batter. High and deep to center. Going back is Pache. Gone! Into the restaurant in center field. He hit that up there in Sano territory. Not too many guys go up there, but you give him a third at bat, almost right on cue. Hard line out the first time. Double almost 110 miles an hour the last time. And now this ball absolutely crushed to center field. Twins have the lead. He pitched too well to be walking off the mound. Down by one, but the Twins will take it for sure. This is a hanging curveball center cut. I should give it a courtesy look, but that ball was way out of here. And they let Caprillion face Polanco a third time. And Polanco has the three hardest hit balls against the Oakland right-hander all afternoon long. And now it's a one-nothing lead and a pitching change for the A's. Ron will try to get the three outs in the ninth to follow up a 2-1 win with a one-nothing win. To right field. Kepler hardly has to move. Victory for the A's in that they put a ball in play against Duran, one away. He struck out the side impressively in the eighth. 0 and 2, 0 and 3. That's electric. So Jeffers apparently went to the mound and said, "Give me three fastballs, and we'll send the pinch hitter back to the dugout." And three pitches in the zone. I mean, how many times the guy throw number one three straight fastballs into that bat? But and then how many times the guy actually throw them within the strike zone? Got him. 
five strikeouts in two innings of work. And the Twins back up a two to one win last night with a one to nothing win today. Well, got a little interest in there at the end, but he had it all the way. When you've got that kind of stuff, that kind of fastball, you're confident out there. Take a look. I love the little hop at the end. Right there. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, 22,272 showed up. Perfect day for a ball game. Watch the Twins come out here and pitch a shutout, throw the ball very well. One big hit off the bat of Jorge Polanco. And the winning streak at home continues. Eight in a row they've won. And who would have thought a year ago that this Twins team would ever win twice? Back to back games where the scores were one to nothing and two to one. It is the second one to nothing win this year. They have three two to one wins.